Becoming a soldier in the Army National Guard is not easy. Don't quit, let's go. But it will be one of the most transformative experiences of your entire life. It all starts with basic combat training, or BCT. Over the course of 10 weeks, you will learn to overcome any challenge placed before you. The transition from civilian to soldier will transform you both physically and mentally, and will be an experience that you will remember for the rest of your life. Welcome to the U.S. Army, the world's greatest fighting force. The U.S. Army has four sites for BCT, Fort Benning, Fort Jackson, Fort Sill, and Fort Leonard Wood. As a National Guard soldier, you will train alongside active duty and reserve component soldiers alike. And together with your battle buddies, you will learn the Army's stringent combat standards. Once soldiers arrive at their basic training reception battalion, they will make a final phone call notifying family they've arrived safely. Parents or spouses need not be concerned if you don't hear from your loved one over the 10 weeks of basic training. Family should know that soldiers will be in good hands. You can be assured that your soldier is receiving the best training and care the Army has to offer. Males and females were trained together but are housed separately. Reception typically lasts four to seven days and includes administrative preparations such as physical examinations, dental exams, x-rays, optometry exams, blood tests, and immunizations. Be prepared, because there is no smoking, alcohol, no drugs, or junk food during training. If you can't handle that, then you've come to the wrong place. To complete your transition, you will enjoy one of the post's barber shops, where you will be treated to the Army's famed military makeover. At last, you will be issued your Army combat uniform. Once you've processed through reception, you are now ready to get to know your drill sergeants, who are very excited to meet you. Go! Get off the bus! What are you waiting on? Go! Go! Get off! The drill sergeants at first, they can come off as very scary. That is their job, is to take you from civilian to a soldier in a short amount of time. They're not here to hurt you, they are here to make you stronger. You are a risk assessment waiting to happen, go! You're having to obey orders and uh, do exactly what they tell you to do, it, how, they, how to do it, and when to do it. And if you don't do it that way, they will correct you. Try this again, one more time! What am I? Drill sergeant, there you go! Wake up! Yes, drill sergeant. On, hell, hey! You better learn my voice really quick. You can't even do a push-up. If a fly lands on your face and it itches more than anything, you let that fly do whatever it wants to do. You do not slap it off. You do not move. If I tell you something and you hear my voice, you better snap and get right. You understand? How are you here? You can't do a push-up, 41. Do not move. These are now your bumps. Hurry up. Get over here. Yes, Sergeant. Sergeant, really? Sergeant, how long have you been here? Basic training is divided into three phases, red, white, and blue. Your training begins in red phase, in which soldiers develop basic combat skills with emphasis on equipment familiarization and skill developments, such as first aid, physical readiness training, and team building. Highlights include the confidence course and the gas chamber where soldiers are exposed to CS gas in a controlled environment and are expected to react. During weeks four through six, white phase, soldiers begin honing their skills with basic rifle marksmanship. Soldiers will also train in combatives and pugil stick tactics, 
where soldiers are trained to close in on the enemy. Countered by intelligence and common sense, this training teaches soldiers to use their rifle as a melee weapon. The confidence course tests personal courage on elevated obstacles. You will work on your strengths and weaknesses and learn to depend on your battle buddies to complete the course. Also during this phase, soldiers are instructed on tactical foot marches and land navigation, which includes map reading and compass skills. Blue phase concentrates on individual tactics, increased leadership, self-discipline, and teamwork. This phase is the culmination of everything learned throughout all BCT training phases. During the U.S. weapons immersion, trainees first practice with dummy grenades and graduate to live grenades. They will also undergo field training exercises and simulated combat scenarios during the day and night. You will have a battle buddy who communicates what needs to happen so you can stay accountable for your team. You've done it. You've completed basic combat training and taken your place among the greatest fighting force in the world. You've passed the red, white, and blue phases and now proudly display those colors on your U.S. Army uniform. Your friends and loved ones will be proud and will notice the change in you. You are now a soldier. But your journey doesn't end here. This adventure has only just begun.